organizational arrangements which allow this pair to be sold in Borough Market are actually very similar to those that enable iPhone apps to be sold in Apple's App Store. In fact, I'm going to compare apples with pears. In Borough Market, there are traders, some of whom actually produce the goods that they sell. It's the same on the iPhone platform. There are also traders, some of whom develop and sell their apps on Apple's App Store. Second, Borough Market could not survive without a whole bunch of organizations that act as enablers for the market. These organizations provide things like logistics, distribution, utilities, and even marketing and advertising. But on the iPhone platform, it's the same. There are companies who act as enablers, for example, by providing tools for applications developers. And these tools can be used to help produce the graphics and the code that goes into applications. Finally, Borough Market is owned by a trust, and it's this trust that provides the governance and the facilities that help Borough Market run smoothly. And again, in a similar way, Apple owns the iPhone platform, and it's Apple who provides the governance and the facilities that help the iPhone platform run smoothly. So for a platform to prosper, its ecosystem needs three things. First, it needs content producers. Second, it needs platform enablers. And last but not least, it needs a platform owner who's going to provide governance to enable the ecosystem to prosper. Every life throws a shot.